Hey dear, welcome back to the world of cross-dressing stories. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Now, let's dive into the story. In the heart of New York City, among the ceaseless thrum of life and the towering silhouettes of skyscrapers, there lived a 19-year-old boy named Michael. From the outside, he seemed like any other young man navigating the complexities of early adulthood, but beneath the surface, Michael harbored a secret that set him apart a secret swathed in silk and shadowed by societal expectations. Since he was a child, Michael had discovered an inexplicable joy in wearing female clothes. It was a private delight, a whisper of chiffon and lace that made his heart race in ways he couldn't quite understand. This joy was not born from the mere act of dressing, but from the profound sense of rightness that settled over him when the mirror reflected a figure more in tune with his inner essence. His mother, a gentle and understanding soul, had been the only witness to his clandestine experiments with her dresses and makeup. She never judged. Instead, she supported him with quiet nods and tender smiles, her actions speaking the words her lips never had to form. I see you, and you are loved. However, life, as it often does, interjected with a cruel twist of fate. Michael's mother succumbed to an illness that was as swift as it was savage, leaving him not only motherless, but utterly unmoored. Her passing was a tempest that uprooted everything stable in his life, plunging him into an ocean of grief. The dresses and skirts, once symbols of joy, now hung in his closet like specters of a more innocent time, each fold and fabric whispering memories too painful to touch. In the wake of his mother's death, Michael's life became a monochrome shadow of its former vibrancy. Depression clung to him like a second skin, cold and unyielding. The world around him continued its relentless pace, a stark contrast to the stagnation that gripped his heart. He drifted through his days, each moment tinged with a palpable sense of loss, a loss not just of his mother, but of his very identity, which had been so closely intertwined with hers and the secret they shared. As he wrestled with his grief, Michael felt the essence of who he was, the part of him that sparkled in silk and blossomed in blush, recede into the dark corners of his being, a star fading at dawn. The joy of dressing, which had once been a beacon of self-expression, now seemed like a distant dream, obscured by the thick fog of his sorrow. But life, as it is wont to do, was poised to turn another page in his story, introducing a new chapter and a new character, his soon-to-be stepmother. Unbeknownst to Michael, she would come bearing the light of understanding and acceptance, ready to guide him back to the forgotten pathways of joy and self-discovery. With her arrival, the curtains would slowly draw back, letting light into the shadowed corners of his world and his heart, inching him towards a future where the whisper of Chiffon was not a memory, but a melody of hope. This introduction sets the emotional stage for Michael's journey, detailing his internal conflicts and the backdrop of his life that makes his transformation both necessary and inevitable. As the leaves turned and the seasons shifted their hues, time marched forward in the bustling heart of New York City, carrying Michael along in its relentless flow. The world around him changed, as did the people within it. Amidst this flux, a new chapter began with the entrance of Eliza, a woman whose presence would gently reshape the contours of Michael's fractured world. Eliza entered Michael's life like a serene interlude to the cacophony of his sorrow, she was not just any woman. She was the one Michael's father had chosen to be his new partner, his new stepmother. From their first meeting, Michael noticed the warmth that seemed to radiate from her, a warmth that felt both foreign and familiar. It was her eyes, kind and perceptive, that first hinted at the depth of her empathy. In the early days of their acquaintance, Michael was guarded, his heart encased in layers of protective ice formed by his grief Yet, Eliza approached him with a gentleness that demanded nothing of him, but offered much. Her presence in their home brought a sense of order and tranquility that had been absent since his mother's passing. She filled their spaces with soft laughter and subtle rearrangements, turning a house haunted by memories into a home that promised new beginnings. Eliza's nurturing nature gradually thawed the frost around Michael's heart. She was patient, never prying too deeply, yet always available, her attentiveness a quiet invitation for him to open up when ready. Over cups of steaming tea and during long walks through Central Park, 
Michael found himself sharing snippets of his life and thoughts, each word cautiously measured, each sentence a tentative step toward trust. Her responses were always thoughtful, filled with an understanding that seemed to transcend the usual platitudes. She didn't simply listen, she heard him, a difference that Michael felt deeply. This emotional connection laid the groundwork for a newfound stability in his life, a foundation strong enough to bear the weight of his hidden self. One crisp autumn evening, as they watched the sunset paint the city skyline in shades of orange and pink, Michael felt a surge of courage buoyed by the comfort Eliza's presence afforded him. It was then that he decided to share the most intimate part of his past, his identity as Myra, the joy of dressing in women's clothing, a joy that had been suppressed and shadowed by his mother's death. To his surprise and relief, Eliza's reaction was not one of shock or judgment, but one of acceptance and an even deeper empathy. Her hand found his in a gentle squeeze, her voice soft yet firm with conviction as she spoke. Michael or Myra, you're not alone anymore. We'll figure this out together. From that day forward, Eliza became not just a stepmother, but a confidant and a guide. She embraced both Michael and Myra with equal fervor, understanding that her role in his life was not to redefine, but to support him in rediscovering the parts of himself that had been lost in the shadows of grief. Together, they began to weave a new tapestry of life, one rich with the colors of understanding and acceptance, as Eliza helped Michael slowly and lovingly embrace his identity as Myra once more. This part of the story deepens the emotional landscape, highlighting the healing power of acceptance and the transformative impact of a supportive relationship. It sets the stage for Myra's reemergence and the exploration of her identity with Eliza's nurturing guidance. On a rainy evening when the world outside seemed to weep with relentless torrents, Michael and Eliza found themselves surrounded by the comforting glow of lamplight Nestled among the remnants of the past that lay spread across the living room floor, old family albums thick with memories. As they flipped through the pages, each photograph whispered stories of days gone by. Michael's heart felt heavy, the weight of each image laden with echoes of laughter and shadows of smiles from a time when his mother was still a vital presence in his life. It was in these moments of shared silence and soft sighs that Eliza's presence became a beacon of comfort. Hesitantly, drawn by the intimate setting and Eliza's gentle encouragement, Michael reached for an album that was particularly dear to him, one that held secrets of his other self, Myra. His fingers trembled slightly as he opened to a page obscured for years by fear and grief. There, amidst typical family portraits, was a photograph of him at eight years old, draped in a shimmering dress, his expression one of timid delight. Drawing a deep breath, Michael's voice wavered as he ventured into the past. This was more than just dress up for me. Mom understood. She called me Myra when I wore these clothes. His eyes, glistening with the thread of tears, met Eliza's, searching for a sign of her reaction. Eliza's face, illuminated by the soft lamplight, was a canvas of compassion and unwavering support. There was no flinch, no hint of surprise. Instead, her eyes, deep pools of understanding, locked onto his with an intensity that conveyed her empathy. Tell me about Myra, she invited warmly, her voice a soft caress against the storm's howl outside. Encouraged by her acceptance, Michael delved deeper into his memories, his narrative interspersed with moments of poignant recollections. He spoke of the fabrics that felt like whispers against his skin, the colors that seemed to paint his soul in hues more true to his inner self, and the joyous freedom of embracing Myra's essence under his mother's loving gaze. As Michael shared these sacred confessions, Eliza listened, not just to respond, but to understand, to connect, to weave her support into the very fabric of his revelations. Her hand reached out, brushing against his, a silent pledge of solidarity. When I wore these clothes, I didn't just see myself. I saw who I could be, more complete, more me, Michael confessed his voice a mixture of nostalgia and newfound hope. Eliza, moved by his vulnerability, responded with a sincerity that further bridged the gap between them. Myra doesn't have to be just a memory kept in these albums, Michael. If she is a part of who you are, we can find her again, together. That rainy evening marked a turning point. 
it washed away the remnants of past inhibitions and watered the seeds of trust and acceptance that Eliza had been planting in Michael's heart. As the storm outside raged on, within the warmth of their home, Michael felt a profound shift. The revelation of Myra was not met with resistance, but with an embracing acceptance that promised the rebirth of his entire being. This moment of revelation deepens the emotional narrative, setting the stage for a transformative journey where Michael, with Eliza's unwavering support, begins to reconnect with Myra, exploring the depth of his identity with newfound courage and love. Eliza's words, Myra doesn't have to be just a memory, lingered in the air, stirring something profound within Michael. They marked the beginning of a journey neither of them fully understood yet, but both were committed to exploring. With a cautious yet hopeful nod from Michael, they embarked on the path of rediscovery, a path that would reshape Mara's existence from mere memories to vivid reality. In the days that followed, Eliza transformed their home into a sanctuary of exploration and learning. It was here that Michael, under Eliza's gentle guidance, began the delicate process of reintroducing himself to Myra. Eliza, with her keen eye for detail and her intuitive understanding of Michael's needs, became both mentor and ally in this transformative voyage. The journey began with the art of outfit selection. Eliza took Myra shopping, not as a mere excursion, but as an exercise in self-expression and confidence building. They visited boutiques where the fabric of every garment seemed to tell a story, each piece a potential chapter in Myra's new life. Eliza encouraged her to touch the fabrics, feel their texture, and imagine their comfort against her skin. Choose what speaks to you, Myra. Choose what feels like you, Eliza would say, her voice a reassuring presence beside Myra's tentative decisions. Next, Eliza introduced Myra to the world of makeup, which was more than just cosmetic. It was transformative. Standing before a mirror, with Eliza's curated collection of products spread out before them like a painter's palette, Myra learned to see herself in new hues and contours. Eliza taught her how to apply foundation that matched her skin tone perfectly, how to accentuate her eyes to reflect her deepest emotions, and how to add color to her lips, as one would add a signature to a piece of art. Each brushstroke was a step toward seeing Myra not just as she was, but as she could be. But the transformation was not only about appearances, it was about essence and posture about the grace with which Mara carried herself. Eliza coached her on the subtleties of movement and presence. It's about aligning how you feel inside with how you express yourself outside, Eliza explained. They practiced walking, sitting, and gesturing in ways that felt natural and empowering to Mara. With each session, Mara's confidence blossomed. She was not merely adopting a new style, she was reclaiming a part of her soul that had been dormant. Each outfit, each shade of eyeshadow, each graceful step was a celebration of her identity. The transformation went deeper than skin. It seeped into Myra's heart and spirit. She began to hold her head higher, not just because of the heels she now wore with poised elegance, but because of the burgeoning self-respect and acceptance that Eliza's tutelage fostered. Under Eliza's guidance, Myra rediscovered the joy that had once been a secret shared only with her mother. Now it was a joy that she could own and share openly, a joy that no longer whispered from the shadows but sang proudly in the light. This transformation marked a rebirth, not just of Myra, but of Michael as well. In embracing Myra, he was not leaving Michael behind. He was allowing every part of himself to coexist with harmony and pride. Eliza's role was pivotal, not just in teaching Myra how to look, but in helping her to see, truly see, herself. Through this journey of rediscovery, Michael and Myra, with Eliza by their side, wove together the fragments of past and present into a tapestry rich with complexity and beauty, each thread a testament to the power of love and acceptance. The day of Myra's first public outing arrived, tinged with the golden hues of a perfect summer morning. The city, bustling and vibrant, seemed to pulse with a rhythm that beckoned her to join its dance. With Eliza by her side, Myra prepared to step out not just into the city, but into a new chapter of her life. Eliza had chosen a beautiful flowy summer dress for this significant day, a garment that whispered of freedom and femininity. Its fabric, light and airy, cascaded over Myra's form, accentuating her slender figure with every gentle breeze. As Myra looked at her reflection in the mirror, 
she saw not just a transformation in attire, but a metamorphosis of spirit. The dress, with its delicate floral pattern and soft, embracing folds, seemed to affirm her identity, echoing her inner transformation outwardly. Hand in hand, Myra and Eliza left the safety of their home to venture into the vibrant tapestry of the city. The quaint cafe downtown, known for its welcoming atmosphere and beautiful garden terrace, was their chosen destination. As they walked, Myra's heart was aflutter with a symphony of emotions. Exhilaration sang the high notes, while fear thrummed the bass. Stepping into the cafe, Myra felt the weight of many gazes. Her steps faltered momentarily, a natural response to the fear of judgment, but Eliza's reassuring squeeze of her hand reminded her of the strength she carried within. With a deep breath, Myra lifted her chin and allowed her eyes to meet those of the strangers around her. What she found in their glances was not the scorn she had feared, but curiosity, and in some, a recognition and acceptance that warmed her from the inside out. The cafe, with its rustic charm and the gentle murmur of patrons, became a stage upon which Mara could finally present herself authentically. As they found a cozy corner under the shade of a blooming tree, Mara noticed how the natural light danced off her dress, casting patterns of light and shadow that seemed to celebrate her presence. Eliza ordered their favorite coffees, and as they waited, they chatted about everything and nothing, the simplicity of the moment making it profoundly beautiful. Myra could feel the eyes of other patrons on her from time to time, but with each passing minute, her confidence grew. The initial mix of exhilaration and fear slowly tipped in favor of joy, the joy of being seen as she truly was. The real test came when a gentle-faced woman at the next table leaned over and complimented Myra on her dress. The interaction was brief, but laden with significance for Myra. It was an acknowledgement of her identity, a validation of her existence in a way she had never experienced before. Myra responded with a shy yet genuine smile, her heart swelling with the intoxicating feeling of acceptance. As they left the cafe, stepping back into the sunlight of the busy streets, Myra felt a profound shift within her. The outing, a simple act of having coffee in a public space, had transformed into a pivotal affirmation of her identity. The fear that had once loomed large was now just a shadow overtaken by the exhilaration of authenticity. This first outing was not just about Myra showing the world who she was, it was also about the world showing Myra that there was a place for her within it. Each step she took in her delicate heels, each smile she shared, wove her more firmly into the fabric of life around her, a life where she could exist not just in the shadows, but in the warmth of the sun. As the summer unfolded, its days stretched long and warm, laden with both the light of discovery and the shadows of uncertainty. For Myra, each day was a canvas, rich with possibilities, yet fraught with challenges. The journey she embarked on with Eliza was not just about embracing her femininity, it was also about navigating the complex emotional landscapes that came with such profound personal transformation. The season was marked by a series of emotional highs and lows, a roller coaster that twisted through exhilarating peaks of joy and sudden dips into doubt. Each public outing, each compliment, and each supportive glance added to Myra's growing sense of self-assurance. Yet the undercurrents of anxiety and fear of rejection were never far away lurking in the quiet moments when the world's applause faded into the night. Myra often found herself wrestling with internal questions. Was she truly accepted or merely tolerated? Could she navigate the world as Myra without facing the harsh judgments that she had always feared? These doubts were like specters at the feast of her newfound happiness, their whispers casting long shadows over her moments of joy. But Eliza was a beacon during these tumultuous times, her unwavering support was a lighthouse guiding Myra through the fog of her fears. Eliza's presence was both a shield and a reminder that growth often comes accompanied by discomfort, that every new step forward was a victory over the fears that sought to tether her to the past. Together, they explored the multifaceted aspects of femininity that Myra had only ever dreamed of. Afternoons were spent in the sanctuary of their home or in welcoming salons where Myra learned the art of styling her hair in ways that framed her face beautifully, enhancing her features with curls that bounced with her every step 
or sleek styles that spoke of elegance and poise. Nail art became a favorite activity. The delicate precision it required was both a meditation and a celebration of detail. Eliza and Myra would sit at their kitchen table, surrounded by bottles of vibrant polish and tiny brushes, creating designs that reflected Myra's mood and personality. Each finished set of nails was not just a display of artistic expression, but a testament to Myra's burgeoning confidence and her delight in the small joys of her new life. Yet for all the beauty they created and all the barriers they broke, the journey was not without its setbacks. There were days when the weight of what-ifs clouded Myra's heart, days when the stairs felt sharper, the whispers louder. During these times, Eliza's knack for sensing Myra's spiraling thoughts would lead them to quiet corners of city parks where the rustling leaves and Eliza's soothing voice recounting stories of other brave souls who had walked similar paths provided a comforting balm. These sessions, sometimes filled with laughter, sometimes with tears, deepened the bond between Mayra and Eliza. Each shared story, each moment of vulnerability, fortified Mayra's resolve to not just navigate her journey, but to embrace it fully with all its imperfections and surprises. As summer waned, the emotional roller coaster began to settle into a rhythm of resilience. The highs outweighed the lows, and the shadows of doubt grew shorter as the light of acceptance, both internal and external, grew brighter. Mayra learned that each step forward, no matter how tentative, was a step towards a future where she could live openly, authentically, and joyfully as her true self, supported by the unwavering love and understanding of Eliza. As the summer's tapestry began to fray at the edges, heralding the approach of autumn, a new opportunity shimmered on the horizon. The local fashion community, a vibrant and inclusive enclave, announced an open call for models for an upcoming fashion show. This event was not just a showcase of style, it was a celebration of diversity, a platform where the unconventional and the avant-garde could shine. Eliza brought the news to Myra with a twinkle in her eye, understanding the profound significance of such an event for Myra. This could be your moment, she said softly, her voice tinged with excitement, a chance to stand proud in front of the world and declare who you are. The decision to participate was fraught with nerves and excitement. For Myra, this was more than just an opportunity to model. It was a public affirmation of her identity, a testament to her journey. The catwalk would be her canvas, her walk a brushstroke of boldness and beauty. Preparation for the fashion show became their shared project, with days filled with fittings, rehearsals, and endless discussions about the perfect outfit that would encapsulate Myra's spirit. Each session in front of the mirror, each stride down the makeshift runway in their living room built Myra's confidence. Eliza was ever-present, her encouragement a steady force against any waver of doubt that threatened Myra's resolve. As the day of the show drew near, the air around them thickened with anticipation. Myra felt a complex blend of emotions whirl within her. Excitement and fear danced a delicate tango in her heart. The night before the show, unable to sleep, she walked to the window, gazing out at the city that had seen her at her most vulnerable. The city lights, like stars fallen to earth, whispered promises of what could be. The morning of the fashion show dawned clear and bright. Eliza and Myra arrived at the venue, a buzz of activity greeting them. Backstage was a flurry of designers, models, and makeup artists, each absorbed in their art. Myra, dressed in a stunning ensemble that flowed elegantly around her form, felt her heart beat a rapid tattoo against her ribs. As her turn approached, the backstage chaos seemed to recede, leaving a tunnel of focus that led, led straight to the catwalk. Eliza squeezed her hand, whispering, You are incredible, Myra. This is your moment. Stepping onto the cat, Myra could feel the weight of every gaze upon her. The music, a pulsating beat that matched her racing heart, filled the air. With a deep breath, she stepped forward, her heels clicking on the runway like a metronome of her courage. With each step, Myra shed layers of fear, her walk becoming more assured, more graceful. The audience blurred into a canvas of colors, their faces indistinct, but their energy palpable. In those moments, Myra was not just a model, she was a beacon of hope and strength, her presence a powerful declaration of her identity. When she reached the end of the runway, she paused, 
striking a pose that felt like the exclamation point to her journey. The applause that erupted was a wave of validation, washing over her in warm, exhilarating currents. As she walked back, her eyes met Eliza's, who was standing off stage. The pride in Eliza's eyes was the most profound accolade Myra could have received. They had envisioned this moment, strived for it, and now it was real, a shared triumph that transcended the personal and touched the universal. That walk on the catwalk was more than just part of a fashion show. It was Myra's public embrace of her identity, a powerful statement of acceptance and pride. She had not only shown the world who she was, but had also seen herself anew through the accepting eyes of others. The applause that followed her every step was not just for her external transformation, but for the courage it took to live authentically, vibrantly, unapologetically. The fashion show marked a profound turning point in Mayra's life. As she walked the runway, each step resonated like a heartbeat, echoing her newfound confidence through the grand space. The applause that filled the air as she moved was not just a celebration of the fashion being showcased. It was a deep, resonant affirmation of her entire journey and transformation. Backstage, after the final walk, Myra felt a surreal blend of relief and exhilaration wash over her. The energy of the crowd, their cheers still ringing in her ears, felt like a warm embrace. She had revealed her true self in the most public and undeniable way, and the acceptance she received was overwhelming. This moment crystallized something vital within her, the realization that she was not merely Michael or Myra, but a beautiful amalgamation of both identities. She was a mosaic, each piece reflective of parts of her life that together formed a complete and complex picture. This realization brought with it a profound sense of peace. Myra understood that her strength lay in her complexity, in the full embrace of her entire being, without compartmentalization or denial. Eliza, witnessing Myra's transformation and acceptance, felt a mix of pride and joy. She had seen the struggle, the moments of doubt, and the tears that had paved the way to this triumph. Now, seeing Myra bask in the applause, Eliza knew that all the challenges had been worth it. She had helped Myra navigate through the storm to this point of radiant self-assurance. In the days that followed, the impact of the fashion show began to settle into Myra's life. She no longer felt the need to divide herself into parts. Instead, she embraced her identity as fluid, a spectrum rather than fixed points. The confidence she gained from the fashion show permeated other aspects of her life, enhancing her interactions and ambitions. The community around Myra, both familiar faces and strangers who had witnessed her debut, responded with an outpouring of support. Many reached out to share their own stories or simply to express their admiration for her courage. Myra found herself becoming a beacon for others, her journey inspiring those who also grappled with their identities. Encouraged by this support, Myra started a blog, sharing her experiences and thoughts about identity, transformation, and acceptance. The blog quickly gained a following, becoming a space of community and support. Through this platform, Myra not only consolidated her thoughts and reflections, but also connected with a broader audience, spreading her message of acceptance and self-love. As summer faded into autumn, the changes in Myra's life were not just about her external transformation, but also about an internal realization of her wholeness. She learned to navigate the world not as two separate identities, but as one integrated self embracing the fluidity of her being. Eliza continued to be her steadfast support, her mentor and friend, as they both celebrated the success and the paths it opened up. Together, they looked forward to a future that was no longer shadowed by fear, but illuminated by the light of genuine self-expression and acceptance. The resolution of Myra's journey at the fashion show was not just about the, the public acceptance she received, but about her personal acceptance of herself as complete and complex. This acceptance was the true triumph, turning her path into one of endless possibilities and authentic living. As the vibrant tapestry of summer began to give way to the golden hues of autumn, Michael, who had fully embraced his identity as Mera, found a serene balance within himself. The tumultuous journey of self-discovery, marked by its profound highs and challenging lows, had culminated in a place of harmony and self-acceptance. With each passing day, Myra grew more comfortable in her dual identity, 
viewing it not as a burden but as a unique strength that colored her perception of the world with richer, more vibrant hues. Eliza's role in Myra's journey had been instrumental. Her unwavering support and deep empathy had provided the safe space Myra needed to explore and eventually embrace all facets of her identity. As summer waned, their relationship had evolved into a beautiful symbiosis of mentorship and friendship, each learning from and strengthening the other. With newfound confidence and a desire to give back to the community that had supported him, Myra decided to start a blog. The blog was envisioned as a beacon for others navigating similar journeys, a platform where stories and experiences could be shared openly and without fear. As Myra penned the first post, she found that the act of writing provided a therapeutic release. Words flowed from her heart, each sentence a testament to her struggles and victories. The blog quickly resonated with readers. Each post sparked conversations, and soon, a community of like-minded individuals began to form around Myra's writings. Readers shared their own stories of identity and acceptance, creating a tapestry of experiences that enriched everyone involved. Mayra found great solace in this connection, realizing that her journey could inspire and support others just as she had been inspired and supported. Through her blog, Mayra explored various themes, identity, fashion, resilience, and the transformative power of acceptance. She discussed the fluidity of gender and the beauty of living authentically. Each post was infused with the wisdom she had gained through her experiences and her words often served as a comforting presence for those who felt misunderstood or alone. As Michael and Mayra, he now navigated life with a profound sense of purpose and clarity. The dual aspects of his identity no longer felt conflicting. Instead, they were threads in the same fabric, each essential to the strength and beauty of the whole. He learned to navigate the complexities of life with a graceful balance, embodying the roles of both Michael and Myra with equal pride and authenticity. Eliza remained a constant in Myra's life, her guidance and affection a steady anchor. Together they celebrated each milestone on Myra's blog, each story shared, and each life touched. Their journey together had taught them the power of unconditional love and the importance of giving oneself the grace to grow. As the season changed, so too had Myra's life. From the uncertain steps of a soul in turmoil to the confident strides of a trailblazer, Myra had transformed her deepest fears into her greatest strengths. The summer had ended, but for Myra, this conclusion was merely the beginning of a new chapter. One filled with hope, continued exploration, and the joy of helping others find their own path to acceptance. The conclusion of Myra's story is not an end, but a continuation of her journey as a beacon of hope and a testament to the transformative power of embracing one's true self. Her story, a blend of both Michael and Myra, serves as an inspiring reminder of the beauty and resilience of the human spirit. As autumn draped its colorful mantle over the city, Myra found herself in a reflective state, often pausing to consider the profound changes that had reshaped her life over the recent months. The summer with Eliza had been transformative in ways she had never anticipated, transcending the superficial changes of apparel and aesthetics to touch the very core of her being. Sitting at her desk, surrounded by the gentle hum of the evening and the soft glow of her lamp, Myra penned a reflective piece for her blog. It was important to her to capture the essence of what she had learned, not just to share it with her readers, but to solidify her own understanding. Identity, she wrote, is the melody of our soul. It's not just who we are, but how we express our deepest truths. This summer, I learned that the fabric of our being is woven with the threads of our experiences, choices, and the people who touch our lives. She reflected on how, before this transformative summer, she had often felt that Myra was a part of her to be concealed, a vibrant hue to be dimmed. Eliza's influence had taught her a vital truth, Identities are not meant to be hidden in the shadows, but celebrated in the light. Myra realized that the joy of being true to oneself is a fundamental right, not a privilege to be earned. The support of Eliza was a testament to the power of understanding and acceptance. Myra acknowledged that without Eliza's empathy and encouragement, the journey might have been much lonelier and more daunting. Eliza had not just been a guide, 
She had been a mirror, reflecting back the strength and beauty Myra had within her all along, helping her see herself fully for the first time. Sometimes, Myra wrote, the support of a loved one is the bridge between who we are and who we dare to be. It's the strength we borrow when ours falters, and the voice that reminds us, in moments of doubt, that we are worthy of happiness and acceptance. She mused over the countless moments during the summer when Eliza's presence had made all the difference, from their quiet conversations filled with revelations to the bustling chaos of the fashion show where Myra had publicly embraced her complete self. Each instance was a stitch in the fabric of her transformed identity, each moment a step away from fear and towards liberation. Reflecting further, Myra understood that her journey was not just about self-acceptance, but also about extending that acceptance to others. Through her blog, she had begun to foster a community where stories like hers could be shared and celebrated, where fear and misunderstanding were replaced by support and celebration. As she concluded her blog post, Myra felt a surge of gratitude for the summer's experiences, for Eliza, and for every reader who had joined her on this journey. She realized that her story was just one of many, each narrative a vital thread in the broader human tapestry. Let us celebrate our identities, bold and unapologetic, she typed, her fingers steady and sure. And let us never underestimate the power of love and support to transform lives. This journey does not end here. It is an ongoing dialogue with ourselves and the world, a dialogue rich with potential and bright with promise. Myra leaned back, a gentle smile playing on her lips as she reviewed her reflection. She was proud of the woman she had become, grateful for the past that had shaped her, and excited for the future she was ready to build, a future where Mayra and Michael coexisted, not just as parts of a whole, but as a whole that was greater than its parts.